Aloha everyone, Joshua Hayes at BigWayTrading.com. Take two. So this one's going to be a little bit faster than the first one because I already completed this video earlier and now I have to redo it. Sorry. So here we go. Basically what I was saying in the first video that I fully made already was that this market is so strong that I didn't get an entry. Unfortunately, this indicator, which is um, an amazing indicator to use, anytime this index is below the 50 SMA, this blue line right here, and this indicator gets above zero, buy stop above the 50, and usually I can get these moves. And or, once it crosses the zero line, as long as it pulls, I can then do a buy stop above the highs and get long this move. And or, what I can now wait for is now that we're above the zero line, the index, once it starts to show some negative divergence in a, like MACD, TSV, et cetera, et cetera, hopefully this price gets below this average with this indicator above zero and I can get long. 0 for 3, struck out. What are you going to do? So very powerful rally. I have no complaints about this other than that I botched this entry, but I'm going to remind everybody that um, I was looking for a load at SPY 350 and an all-in at SPY 250 if we got there back in 2022. And unfortunately, we never closed below SPY 350, so I missed my 50% load in the long-term ports. Thankfully, I've been buying in the long-term ports the entire time, piecemealing into them, continued swing trade, day trade every day, no big problem. What I want to show you, though, is I did miss this on one time frame because it was not the index of focus currently for me. My index of focus has been the QQQ because it's the leader. It on a weekly time frame never got below this 50 SMA, but I want to show you something. And I can't believe I missed this. And I can't believe none of my members brought this to my attention. In fact, I'm very disappointed in everyone. Just kidding. I'm disappointed in myself, to be honest. So this closes below the 50 SMA. Once you actually get that weekly close below the 50 SMA, this is what it would look like on your chart. The tickets indicator is above the zero line. Even though this is red, as long as this indicator is above the zero line, buy stop goes above the 50 SMA. That is currently right around 420. Had you done that, not too bad, huh? 470. 420 to 470 in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven weeks. Not too bad. Miss on my end, not a big deal though, because this market is very odd. The good news is, ever since that follow through day, day one in Rally, day two, day three, day four, follow through day. We've had breakouts, good-looking setups, and leaders already at new highs. Per our reverse anti-Martingale methodology, we've been increasing size basically every day. Once we got to this point, I stopped increasing size, and I've been at status quo. But I keep taking new trades, and they're working. And so on that note, that takes us to the, a, rev, a quick review of all the long positions that I have publicly given to everyone that I've taken and we do this every day at Big Way Trading, but on the YouTube videos, I have given out five long positions since I started to make these videos again. They don't know, this doesn't always happen. It's a byproduct of the strong market, but you got to be in the right stocks. I could be going long stocks that are priced at one cent, three cent, 12 cents that are just toxic and ratchet. So it depends on what you get long. But BKNG was forming this cup with handle. We gave it out as a buy stop above this high. We'll show you where the entries are in Telechart version 23, but basically straight up. And as it moves up, I trim and trail. Each big up day, I take a little bit of profits and trim a profit stop or a sell stop below each of them until the pattern fails. Currently, my final stop on this position is below this low. You could do a break even final stop also to make sure that you lock in all profits and that you don't lose any money in your portfolio. But BKNG, there's a winner. Arm. I have a significant size position in this one. Do I have enough? Absolutely not. It's the nature of the way that this entire market is set up. I'm going to remind everybody, it's still a quantitative tightening market. We're not under official QE yet. We have a rhetorical verbal pivot from the Fed, but we don't have an official pivot from the Fed via an actual interest rate cut. On top of that, the Fed balance sheet, if you take a look at it, as I did this past week, you will see they are still running off assets on the balance sheet. You have two headwinds, big macro headwinds, but despite that, the, the, the market is strong. 
Remember, guys, artificial intelligence, I think it's Internet 2.0. I think we're in the very early innings of all this. I am a secular bull, basically based on demographics, and that doesn't turn and start to decline until 2034, 2035. So I am a buyer of all dips. Arm, signal here, we reviewed it. Signal here, buy stop above the high of the day. Buy stop above the high of the day. Final stop on this position here. This candle holds. Now we're ripping higher. After this big up day, what do you think I did on Friday? Took some profits. Trailing with profit stops, sell stop, final sell stop on ARM. MMYT, I believe, was one of the very first long recommendations. Working out, same thesis. And I want you guys to all notice something on all these. Look below. This indicator is above zero. This line is green. You will notice on BKNG, at the time of these long ideas, don't know if they're going to work or not, we have green lights. Green lights mean go. Green indicators mean go. Red lights mean slow. AVGO, last week, check this one out. This one actually was red, starting to turn green. Can't remember if it was peeking its head to green or not. There's a little bit of a leap factor, as you can see here. So look, notice how this VWAP indicator is up here, but you don't have any price bar. That's kind of what you have here. So got to go watch the last video lesson. But either way, this line was above zero. This indicator was at least curling. And we knew within a day or two, as long as price didn't crash, that it would be turning up towards green, lined up. And then snow also lined up. Everything is looking good. now. Before we move on to the Telechart version 23 charts, I want to show you guys my new long idea for everyone, AGYS. You will notice this indicator is starting to turn green. This indicator is well above the zero line. This is going to be important because AG, AGYS is a cheater early entry. But I want to show you that I tried to do that on TW earlier, but it failed on me. Now notice this indicator. Notice how this has turned green. Notice we're right on the 50. So on TW, I tried this long idea on this day. Notice price is not right on top of the 50. Notice this indicator is racing towards zero. Not slow, stair step towards zero, where then price can round out. Round out. It's just a straight drop into it. Notice this indicator is not only red, but the lead line is below the zero line. So I try to go long the very next day. I get filled, but it doesn't move higher immediately. So what did I do? My initial stop was here. I calculated my size from this low. My stop was here following this day. 50% of my stops went below this low a day. My final half went below this low a day, making sure I didn't lose a full are that I was willing to risk on the trade as a full loss. The next day, ran all the stops. It's failed. Now it's reversing. This is still below above the zero line, but this is still red. So notice how TW, we weren't completely safe here, and we were red here. But notice on AGYS, we are green. Keep all of that in mind. Keep all that in mind because now as we go to this chart, this is Telechart version 23. You can see BKNG, cup, handle, breakout, entry level. You could have a break even stop. But study below what you see. Now, intraday, you can't keep up with all this. But on an end of day basis, when price is static and not dynamic, you can look at everything, take it all into consideration as we circle through all the winners. They just, they could be losers. TW was a loser. But I didn't get that one out publicly, did I? Hmm. Because they weren't all lined up. Look at ARM. Look at MMYT. Look at AVGO. Look at SNOW. Now with that in mind, look at TW. Let's go back to whenever I decided to get long. Not only was the tickets indicated racing to zero, not only were we red on TSV, but we were also red on the CMF and MACD. And the TTM trend indicator, there's no light red bar. It's still a strong downtrend, even with that big up day. 
So I'm technically 0 for 1, that ticket's indicator that's not available in Telchart. 2, 3, 4, 5. 0 for 5. And I tried it anyways. Did I deserve to lose? Yeah. AGYS now, on the other hand. What do I see here? That cup with handle. Can we draw that pattern with TW here? Can I draw a cup with handle with that cheater entry I tried? No, but I can with AGYS. So we got that cup with handle. We're above the zero line. We got the light candles. We're not a strong red. We're a light pinkish red. We have the CMF above green. These two are still red, so we're not completely lined up. But if we can break this downtrend line, I think we are. So my game plan is to get long AGYS above the high of the day, risking to this low. I will also be calculating my size of this low. And I'm willing to give it a little bit of porosity because I can see that this low right here is slightly lower to here. So I will calculate my size to this low and risk to here. Now, if you're really risk averse, and if you're afraid that you might get long and you won't be quick enough to add a stop below, let's say this triggers on Monday, you put a stop below Monday's low a day, put a stop here and a final stop here. But let's say you don't think you're fast enough. Well, maybe you size in from this low, 7205. You take 8467, you subtract it from 7205, get that total and divide it into the dollar amount you're okay losing. $1,000, $100, $10, $1, and that'll be your share size. And then you put in a final sell stop on the books below 79.20. But AGYS is my official trade idea for the week ahead. There are others. Those are for members only.